Good morning, everybody. Since we have a short service today, we are going to try to start on time, which means I'm going to do the announcements right now. So if I could have people find their seats and uh, maybe the worship team. Good morning. Wow, there's some new faces I haven't seen before and some old familiar ones. It's pretty great. All right, well, I'm Kayla. Good to meet you all. Um, Happy New Year, 2023. Can't really believe it. It seems like this last year just zoomed right on by. Um, But we have some cool stuff coming up. So first thing, we have the prophetic class. Simeon, if I could get the slides for these, that'd be awesome. Um, So the prophetic class starts next Sunday, the 8th at 8 a.m. It is $15 to pay for the manual. 8.30. 8.30 a.m., $15. You can scan the QR code to sign up, um, and then that gives Ben an idea of how many people to expect that morning. Uh, Also, we have the marriage course, which is awesome. That is going to start Wednesday the 11th from 6 to 8, which is perfectly existing with Awana. So if you have children, make sure they're registered with Awana so you can come to marriage class. We didn't do that on purpose at all. Um, Cost for that is $20 per couple. And um, it's really great. Next week we'll have a testimony about uh, the marriage course so that way you guys can kind of have an idea of what it is more. Um, also, we have an app. I don't know if you've downloaded the app. I think almost everybody, because I get the analytics, which is really fun to watch. Um, however, on the app, now we have a Spotify playlist, which is super exciting. And it has all of the worship songs that we sing pretty regularly on Sundays. So that way you guys can get familiar and and you know, sing along with us in your cars every day. Um, that being said, we also have a place on the app for contact information. If you are new to our body and have decided to call this your church within the last year and have not given me your contact information, I would love it. Um, especially if you're a tither because I'm going to be sending out year-end tithing statements and if you would like that, I need your addresses. <laughs> um, and then also tithing. We have a tithe box located on the back wall by the front doors. We also have Venmo and Subsplash. They are available on our app as well as our website. Um, And just thank you for your generous contributions because of you guys, we are able to do things like the prophetic classes and marriage courses and Awana and all of the fun things that we get to do. So um, that being said, it's time to worship, except for we don't have a bass player. (laughs) All right, we can stand and welcome our worship team this morning. Oh, oh, Jesus, thank you for this morning. Thank you for this new year and this new season that we're walking into. And um, we are so excited for what's next in your kingdom, God. And we just want to praise you and lift you up this morning as we go into the new year with you and all of your glory. Amen. Hey, Vineyard family. It's good to be here. Um, yeah, my family and I are just really thankful to be here. We got our flight canceled initially coming down from Alaska, and um, we've just been blessed by the goodness of God this past week, um, being able to finally get here on Tuesday and spend time with family. My sister got married, and um, it's just been awesome spending time with the Andersons and Armordings and so good to be here. Hoel asked me to jump on the team um, today, and I was just really excited to be able to be given the opportunity. So it's really good to be here with our Vineyard family. So thanks for having us. You guys ready to worship? All right. 
Let's do it.
drums and bass. sickness, anyone who's struggling with depression, anyone who's sad, anyone who's been cast out, anyone who's had broken relationship, Lord, we just call them to life, the glorious life that you offer in your son, Jesus, the life that we have in Jesus Christ, who offered the final sacrifice to remove all separation between us and you, God. We come alive, we come alive in your presence, 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 we come alive in your presence. Yeah, the net, the net effect of sin in our life is that it brings death. Not necessarily final death that we die, but death in lots of different ways. And ultimately, death is the end result of sin. So I just want you to think about any, any area that you're struggling in right now, any area where the enemy has had you down or had a foothold in your life or anything like that. We're just going to sing, We Come Alive in your presence that just let the presence of the holy spirit wash over you right now and give those things those struggles those areas uh, whether it's an addiction whether it's um, a, a stronghold where you just haven't been able to let go or get to a new spot in your life uh, of freedom and you want freedom your heart's cry is freedom your heart's cry is liberty I just believe right now that as we sing, we come alive in your presence, that that stuff is just going to start breaking off of people, and that there's going to be new freedom, new liberty, yeah. Lord, so we just agree with that right now. We say, come alive, come alive, come alive now. We come alive in your presence. 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 We come alive in your presence.
Jesus 
Thank you, Jesus. You are good. You are the Savior of the world. You're the Savior, Lord, that came not just to save a world, an, una- an unfaced world, or just a, a generic world, but a world full of your kids that you so eagerly, lavishly pour out and desire to be brought back to you. We praise you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love that you have made every attempt you have made. You've done the hard work of coming to us, Lord. We just need to receive what you've done. You are Lord. You are King. Lord, with all the, the, the abilities, all the, the, the you made us in your image and we can do great things, but nothing compares to your goodness and your greatness, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just feel the, the Lord is wanting to like set us free to run in a way that he's called us to for this year. And we, we all have stuff like 2022, like I don't know what your 2022 is like, stuff happens though. And there's just this thing that can start to creep up on us if we're not careful when, when disappointments, when things don't turn out the way that we want, our heart starts to shut down a little bit. It starts to, it's not intentional, but as we try to avoid pain, we also avoid the joy of connection with the Father. And I believe this morning that he wants to come and, and set some people free. Thank you, Jesus. And, and it's, it's not to dismiss, it's not saying that the pain isn't real, but it's saying, this hurts and I'm bringing it to you, Lord. Help me. And, and he, he is acquainted with pain. He jumps in the pit with us. He's with us in those moments. And the great thing is, is that, like, well, there's, there's so many great things, but he's, he's, he's with us in it, and him being with us in it isn't a, a statement of him causing it or of him saying, this is totally fine. But even when Lazarus, he got the news of Lazarus dying, he wept. Yet he still knew the outcome. And even in our own lives, I think a lot of times like, we, can, we can go through things and we, even we can sometimes know that it's a good outcome, but it still hurts and we feel like, oh, we just need to like, just have faith. And we do need faith, but we need faith in the Father that's, that's good and he comes to us and he walks us through those times. And so this morning, I um, just wanna pray, start off praying. Um, actually, anyone that's in that, that, that place where they feel like there's a, like, just maybe it's really bad pain or really it's just a blockage ask that you just hold it up to the Lord as a, as a prophetic act and Holy Spirit would you come would you come and, and take these things that, are, that, the, that your kids are holding in their hands and replace it with, with yourself Lord Come into that place, Lord, where, where they're holding on to the pain, where the pain is even feels like it's holding on to them. Father, would you just like grab, take it from them, those places where it's even hard to let go, but we just know that we don't want to hold on to it because it's getting in the way of our connection with you. Holy Spirit, would you come? Come. We speak life over every broken heart, 
every over, over every broken body, over broken emotions, over broken dreams, over those, those lies, over the, the, the past, over the, the things that haven't happened, that we wanted to happen, the good, even that we were so eagerly desiring that we haven't seen yet. Holy Spirit, come. good at this. You love your kids. I was just feeling this morning the, his compassion over us all. As, especially, I just, I, he, he loves each one of us, and I just hear, see him weeping when he wants to be, like, connect with his kids, and there's just that, that stuff in the way. Like, just even with, with their, my own kids, like, when you know there's stuff that's hurting, and it's just like, it's got them bottled up, and it's like, you you know that they need to let go to be able to receive what's available. So Lord, I pray, Lord, for, for letting go, for letting go, and that you would come in and that you would shine brightly in those places that seem dark. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like the, the other thing that the Lord wants to do, even in the midst of this, is he wants to release dreams that have been buried, that have been covered over. Yeah. I, I feel like there's, there's so much, like, there's just wells all throughout here. And it could be in the, a realm of spiritual realm. It could be like business, family, just places where there's been dreams, there's been desires, there's been hopes, there's even been prophetic words that have been spoken that you believe that you held on to. And something about life, sometimes it just like, it sneaks up, sometimes it's quick and it just kind of derails. Sometimes it's a slow process of just getting, dis either getting distracted or just life needing your attention. And then those things that we have, we once dreamt about, we once burned a passion for, get, they fade into the background, almost like a distant memory. And you just kind of assume, well, I kind of missed it, or I guess that wasn't it. But I believe that there are a lot of dreams a lot of prophetic words, a lot of hopes and desires that are actually still available, that God, is, that God actually inspired and put in your heart, that he wants to bring to life, that he wants to breathe on this morning. And so, Lord, would you come and would you begin to reveal, begin to bring those things, even things that may have been forgotten about, would you bring them to mind, would you bring them to the surface? Just see businesses, people wanting to start their own business, people wanting to, like, move into, like, healing ministry that they've gotten words over, but, like, they prayed for some people and haven't seen it happen, or, or wanting to start, like, help, help different population, segments of the population, and, but, but life has just gotten in the way, or it's just been too busy, and I, I don't know the timing, but I feel like there's, there's these dreams that, that God's saying, don't let them go. And I feel like in 2023, it's about responding in faith to what God's put on your heart. And I don't know if it's, I don't, it, just what, this, what do those steps look like? It might even be just beginning to pray about it because... When you have a family, um, sometimes you don't have a ton of time to actually be doing things, but just be engaging with the Lord. The Lord loves the conversations. Like he loves talking to you about those things that are on your heart. It's kind of like, wow, what a great idea. I wish I would have thought of that when he was the one that actually thought about it in the first place and gave it to you. Um, and there's also just dreams that he loves to see his kids move out in because he's given us free will and he loves to see what we come up with. So Lord, would you come and would you breathe life now? Would you breathe life into those dreams? Would you breathe, breathe life into those hopes? Father, we speak life. We just break off every spirit of hopelessness now in Jesus' name and every spirit of discouragement. We command those things to go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, when we call forth new dreams, new life. We call forth even those dreams that that, that might take on a different shape than originally thought. 
Father, I thank you for the, 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 the dreams you have for our body. Thank you for the dreams that you have for seeing us walk with you. So Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians uh, 2.10 says, We are his workmanship, created for good works in Christ, which he prepared in advance for us to walk out. And that, that word workmanship is, is where is in the Greek where we get the word root word for poem. You are a poem. You are a piece of art. You are something created. And I feel like, um, you know, when you see a painting, when you see something in an, uh, in an art gallery or you see just something that has been created that is just so beautiful, and and you just you just really look at it and you go wow that is amazing but there you know there are some people who don't appreciate art and they 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 don't understand the art and so they might criticize it and i feel like this there's been a season for some that where they've been they they feel like the enemy has criticized them or called them something less than what they are but if you are his workmanship, the Lord created you. He is the creator. He is the one who painted you. Every brush stroke had intention. Every word he spoke over to you was intentional in how he created you. And what Chuck is talking about is so true. But some of us are saying, well, I can't dream those dreams because of X, Y, and Z. I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. But the Lord says, no, you're qualified because I wrote it. I said it. I wrote a poem about how qualified you are to accomplish those dreams, to accomplish a purpose that he prepared for you in advance. All you have to do is walk in it. <laughs> you don't have to strive. You don't have to do anything out of the ordinary. You don't have to be some YouTube influencer or anything that is something popular. You just have to be a workmanship. And so right now, I, be, I believe that there are some of us who have listened, have heard the criticisms of the devil. The enemy has come and said, you'll never amount to anything. Your family is just all-consuming. Your job is all-consuming. Life is just all-consuming. And you can't handle it. And I feel like the Lord wants to come to those dreams, comes to those places in your heart and say, no, actually, I made you for a purpose. You have significance on this earth. You have significance in the city of Hood River. And so, Lord, right now, I just pray that you would walk up as the artist, the one who painted each person in this room, that you would walk up to each person right now and you'd begin to speak the word of life, that you'd begin to speak over them why you created each person in here, why each brush, brush stroke was significant, why each thing that you put in this painting that is each person in this room is significant. That you would dispel the lies of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. I just feel like some of you right now... The Holy Spirit's going to walk up to you and remind you of who you are and that the dreams that are in you are significant. They're on purpose. Holy Spirit, come. Just release fresh vision for 2023, fresh purpose for 2023 right now in Jesus' name. Remind us, remind us of who we are. Remind us of the words that you've spoken. We have an old computer here at the church that has thousands of messages from over the years. And one of them, Chris Vallotton, came in 2007 and prophesied over my wife, and we'd forgotten We'd forgotten what that word was, and I, I, I just was, felt like I was supposed to dig into this computer 
and find this word, and we found it, and it just reignited hope in us. It's like, oh, yeah, that's right. The Lord did say that, and there was more to it. There was more to the word that we'd completely forgotten about. And so if you, if you feel like you're missing it, that you missed something, I want to just remind you that, no, there's words. Dig into the words. Dig in to what the Lord has said. Dig into it. It takes, it takes work. It takes time. Digging around an old computer is not the easiest thing. <laughs> just getting it to boot up takes forever, but it's worth it. <laughs> So 2023 is going to be a year of momentum. What the enemy has stolen is being returned. The years that the locusts have eaten are returning. We are regrowing. We are reforming in Jesus' name. And so if you've been feeling depressed, if you've been feeling discouraged, we just break that off in Jesus' name. And we just say, your place in this community and in this family uh, really means a lot. If you didn't know that, yeah, there's a gap in every person that doesn't show up. <laughs> when you don't show up, it, we feel it. Because it means so much to have you all here. Not just here on Sunday, but just present. When somebody texts me and says, hey, I'm thinking about you, it's like, huh, there's encouragement to that. When we, when we hide because of whatever reason, it's felt. So I've run out of words to say. <laughs> That's usually my cue to shut up. Yes, Samantha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she asked if I would pray for clarity. So, yeah, Holy Spirit, we just pray right now. Oh, I feel like I just saw a picture of all of us taking a step closer to the picture that Jesus has made of us. If you all could just stand up really quick. We're going to do a quick prophetic act. We've been standing far away from the image of Jesus that is imprinted on our hearts. And I just want to encourage you just as a prophetic act, step into, step forward, step out of your place, get out of your comfort zone and move forward as a prophetic act that you are moving closer to the image of Jesus in your life, the dreams that he's put in your heart. Lord, we just pray right now for clarity, for new perspective, and fresh vision for 2023. Lord, that as we, as we think about what is possible, Lord, that we would be challenged to think even harder because what we think is possible is, is you want to do beyond that. What you want to do in our lives and through our lives is glorious, and it requires us just resting in you and stepping closer to you. So, Lord, right now, we just pray right now that there would just be this, this ardent desire to step closer to you, to lean into you, to lean into what you say and who you are. And then from that, Lord, we would see your image imprinted on our hearts. Bring clarity to the dreams. Bring clarity to our lives right now in Jesus' name. We just thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. We just thank you for your goodness. There's in, in 2 Corinthians 5, I think it's verse 10, it talks about how he gave us the Holy Spirit as a guarantee for the glory that we're called to walk in. And that word guarantee is actually, the Greek word is called arbon, which is the actual root word for engagement ring. He gave you guys an engagement ring. It's such a beautiful picture. He is engaged. You are the bride, and he is engaged to you. It's a promise that you are going to walk out a glorious life right now. During worship, I actually got a word about um, wanting to pray for uh, God wanting to heal eyes. And so I figured this would be a good time as we're talking about um, vision going into 2023. Um, I'd actually like to uh, have the ministry team come up, if you're whoever's available, and invite anyone that needs healing in their eyes. So it could be anything from um, just normal lens correction, astigmatism. It might be some kind of eye disease, some kind of eye injury. Um, but I want to invite anyone with um, needing healing for eyes to come on up for prayer this morning. 
And with that, Happy New Year, and have a blessed week.